Hello classmates, I'm going to talk about the pollution increasing in Idaho Snake River aquifer. Uh, here's a picture of the aquifer. You, you can't really see it that well, but I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can. Okay, so there it is. I wanted you to thank you guys for joining me. Sorry, I'm in my uniform. I have to hurry up and get to work here soon. So we're going to talk about the aquifer. Okay, so I'm reading here that the aquifer is the only source of water in Idaho, drinking water in Idaho. Um, a guy named Skinner pretty much said that it's the cleanest in the country, but pollution is growing very epidemic in Idaho. Uh, what else? This is affecting the farmers as well as the cows that graze the land because the water is polluting the livestock. Okay. Um, okay, here's a little thing I wanted to read. So, one scenario we run into is if they all just quit farming and, and the dairymen all went away, how would we, how would it take to show, how would it show up in our groundwater? Skinner says, and in about 40 to 50 years, you'll see a change in the no great constitution. I butchered that, but it says, of course, agriculture is going to be affected as well. It says that this is becoming a big problem. It's also coming to Twin Falls County and Beale. They have undrinkable water, so the water that is in the Snake River aquifer is getting polluted, which means it's not very good drinking water. Okay, so about 30 to maybe 40 years, they're saying that this could become a big problem and we could lose our drinking water. So we need to be more spare. Another thing is that um, heavy metal is actually affecting the Snake River as well. So that's what's really affecting the drinking water. And so we need to, you know, do something to help that. All right, I wanted to also touch on the plant life as well. So, um... The runoff in the farms and ranches into the Snake River uh, is being crippled um, ecologically in these rivers, um, making it hard for anybody to pasteurize anything, uh, such as the, the reasoning for this is because of the fertilizer and the other chemicals that people are using. Um, suck septic tanks, wastelands. You know, broken sewer lines going into our aquifer, not giving us the proper, the proper water that we need, as well as those, those algae blooms that we talk about and how like, you know, they're, they're um, affecting the water. And so because of that water being so low, the oxygen supply is depleting and making, and that's affecting the Snake River directly. Uh, so then rather than feeding the aquifer, the water is absorbing all the surface. So it's absorbing all the surface pollutants, and that's really causing a bad problem. Okay, and here are my references. Thank you for listening, and I hope everybody has a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.